Kathy Schnitzeling put on her dancing shoes and headed off to the Rebel Rockers Ball in Brisbane. One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Oh, yes, I love your petticoats. They're great. I've got two on tonight. Twelve o'clock, rock, we're going to rock. Yes, so guess what? Well, I was picking me up in the shift tonight. People think it's costume, but it's not costume. Around Australia, rope petticoats are being aired, stockings rolled on, and brill cream reborn as young devotees turn back the clock to find pure rock. Well, old romance, um, things were a lot more cultured in the 50s than they are today. Yeah, well, it's really feminine and it's nice, you know, um, full skirts and petticoats and fishnet stockings and high heels. I wish there was a time machine sort of and you can go back and get all their cars and that. I love the cars. The cars, the clothes, the scene. It's called Rockabilly and these kids call themselves rockers and they're looking for cool in the tepid 80s. Uh, it's simple but it's good. I mean, I, I can't get any pleasure out of a lot of 80s things but um, 50s stuff is, is real cool. It's all a question of style. And the rockers say if you're an 80s nightclubber, you've got none. They'd all they do is jump up and down, do aerobics, and it's, <laughs> it's not really creative, you know. After all, it takes some creativity to move like this and look like this. Different they may be from most of today's teenagers, but the mums and dads couldn't be happier. After all, imitation is the finest form of flattery. They sort of get a bit sort of, you know, starry eyed when they look back at the cars and dad says, yeah, I had one of these, you know. Oh, my dad likes it. He thinks it looks good. Mum gets a bit pissed off about the, um, the using the hairspray too much and that kind of stuff. And that's understandable. But it's not just the look the kids like, as Fran Alexander, mother of three rockers, has found. I've seen some of them give up smoking and all just drinking beer. I've seen one after the other give it up. They just don't seem to want to... Um, do the wrong thing. The guys are like gentlemen and they, they treat the girls with respect and the girls look like girls. Make no mistake about it. But how does all this yearning for yesteryear begin? Andy Burnaway from local Brisbane band The Convertibles. The music's the origin of it all, like that's where it all stems from, like usually anyone who gets into the, the cars and the style of clothes and furniture and hairstyle etc starts off with the music, you know, it all stems from that. Well, I started off really dancing when the rock and roll was starting off and brings back memories. Uh, the exercise keeps me fit, keeps me young, I suppose. And the very young see the 50s as some sort of golden age. Oh, I think they were fun. There wasn't any bad stuff around then or anything, so that would have been good. Being a rocker seems to offer a temporary escape from the bad stuff of today to a simpler time. We didn't have an ozone problem in the 50s, so life was more uncomplicated, I suppose. That simplicity that they had, if they can just sort of stop some of the, the problems that we've got in the world, maybe that was the key. It was just a little bit simpler. It wasn't, wasn't a big hassle. Even though they have a nostalgia for an era they didn't know, they know enough not to really want to literally turn back the clock. Well, some of the rules were a bit stricter in the 50s. I think the 80s is sort of um, better for everything, you know. Oh, you can't escape. Bad is no. Run.